Hey guys, so now that summer's here, we're gonna be dealing with a lot of light. So having some sort of ND or variable ND is really gonna help you out in these matters. So I think I found something that's really, really good for that. Let's get into it. So Freewell was kind enough to send these ND or variable ND filters, which are amazing. I've been using them for over a month now, got a chance to really get the hang of what they do and why they're so different. Uh, the one thing that you have to get into really quickly is their magnetic. So once you screw on the base and then the base plate, you're kind of good to go. And you can flip these around, they come from two to five stops and then six to nine stops. And then you've got CPL as well on the same exact uh, filter and a CPL uh, 32 with a 32 ND, which is really cool. The bonus uh, of it, there is a glow uh, filter, a mist filter, if you're familiar with that. Uh, generally, I've used those before and I put those right inside my map box and I'd slide it in, but I'd have to carry this piece of glass, take it out, separate. It's kind of annoying to have so many different aspects to put in your bag, especially when you're trying to travel light. Uh, this camera has been an incredible camera. The Sony FX3 has been phenomenal, but like most Sony's, it's an extremely sharp, sharp camera, which is good for certain scenarios. Other scenarios, uh, not so much. I wanted to soften out the image a little bit. That's where that glow mist or that mist filter really came in handy. Um, and just having that ND to control it because this does not have internal NDs, as you know. Um, so, you know, that being said, something like this really helps you out. The fact that it's in such a small package, again, is a lifesaver. The quality of these filters are actually really, really good. Um, the ease of use, I'd say, is up there. It's 10. It's great. Uh, as far as the quality goes, the glass itself is great. Very little amount of uh, color differences. Um, you will get some vignetting on a full frame lens on some of these, not all. Um, again, nothing that's going to be a deal breaker, but quality wise, super sharp, clear, uh, and they're really great. So let me just give you an idea of what's in this. Um, so you basically get two of these little kind of uh, base uh, elements, and these actually just go right in on top of your lens. You have a screw on uh, piece here, which I'll show you this really quickly. So this particular uh, piece actually screws right on. This is where the magnetic magic happens. So once you screw this on, you can put in a base plate, which will give you one stop. Uh, really easy to install. Just kind of pop it in. And that's your typical base plate. That's gonna give you one stop ND. Um, and that's where you get started. Next up, you can go obviously and use uh, the two to five ND, again, magnetic. Um, and it goes obviously one way or another. Uh, you look at the label and that label will tell you it's a two to six. You align it with the A um, that just goes right on top of here. And basically that's it. Pop it in, I'm good to go. I have my six to nine. Now, if I wanted to, um, use that soft mist uh, filter, then what I can do is just actually just swap these out right here. Uh, so this is the, this is the mist B and D. This comes right out, just pop it out like that. Just make sure not to drop, put that down, bring this guy in here. So you've got a lot of options and you can mix and kind of match these, which is really nice. Um, so now I've got this really soft uh, filter on. I could put back the two to five stop, make sure that it's two to five up there, align it with my A here, and I'm good to go. So now I've got this soft uh, filter look, and I'll show you some examples there of all of them just to give you an idea. Uh, and when you're using the CPLs alone, you are gonna take the base plate out, just take it out just like that, pull it down, Look at the markings, CPL, one is 32, one's a regular CPL, uh, just has one stop uh, or so. Um, and then you got your CPL. Why do you need the CPL if you're shooting water, if you have a lot of reflections, if you're shooting through a car window, 
this is where you want to use this. It's, it's going to take away some of that shine, which is really great. It's not just for outdoors, for indoors as well. Uh, just takes away the, ref the reflections a little bit and gives you a cleaner look. The same as putting on shades or anything like that. So that's pretty much the job of it. But again, let's discuss uh, filter by filter. Um, so let's just take this off a second here. So this is pretty much your screw on plate. This has all the magnets in it, has the markings in it. You screw that onto your lens. Now this does come in different sizes and I'll talk about that uh, in a second. So we've got our base screw on plate. We've got our uh, VND kind of one stop plate that goes in and then you can put your ND filters on top. This is the uh, mist VND that also goes in there as well and then you can put nd on top of that um, again five to six six to nine nds nice nice quality clean uh, again no distortions these look really good for the price that they are it's ridiculous i'm going to get into the details uh, of what this actually brings to the table and what you're getting as a whole as a package you're not going to find it uh, for this price for that many pieces here, which is really a really nice thing to have and again for these type of cameras Don't have built-in ND my Ursa does I don't have to worry about it But sometimes I even need more but for this camera no doubt about it And I think the the actual that mist filter really helps to give me a specific look which are really really nice So let's talk details about this variable ND and everything that comes with it I just want to give you a little bit of an insight and then we'll talk about some things that uh, that are pros, a little bit of cons, just to give you some real aspect of use with these filters. All right, so let's get into the seven key features of this system. Uh, you have the VND two to five, you have the VND six to nine, you have a CPL, an ND32 CPL, a glow mist, a VND mist two to five, a VND mist six to nine. These are combinations. Uh, with the mist filter. So as you're using the mist filter, you put a two to five, you've got a VND mist two to five, if that makes sense. Uh, as far as pricing goes, this is gonna sell at about 400 uh, US, uh, which I think is a phenomenal price for the amount of pieces that you're getting. You can get singular filters at over 150 bucks. Uh, yeah, you can get cheaper ones, I've used cheaper ones, they're not great. Uh, the quality here are amazing. So again, I think they did a really nice job kind of putting this together. Um, let's talk a little bit about sizes and what the thread sizes that they come in. You can get a 58 millimeter, 62 millimeter, 67 millimeter, 72 millimeter, 77 millimeter, 82 millimeter, 95 millimeter. And then if you need to use a stock lens, you can always use step up rings. And there's, you know, third parties that sell them. I can give you a link for ones that I use that I really like and that's gonna solve your problem, so you'll be able to use this on different size lenses. Other than that, I've had a great experience with this, with this particular product. Uh, wanted to talk now about some pros of it. Again, pros, ease of use, quality, that's a pro. Um, having the two, two to five and the six to nine, amazing. Having the mist filter has been really, really great. Um, I haven't dropped it, it works really, really well. Uh, sticks as it should. In the beginning, I had a little bit of a kind of issue trying to figure out how it aligned, but now I got it and the flipping, as long as you're following the markings, you're set to go. They do include this, this really nice and, and really nicely done kind of cap that goes on there and that covers the whole entire system. My only gripe with this is that A, it's see-through, so sun does get in there. I know it sounds ridiculous, but you know, if you have your camera and light gets in there and you get something on your sensor from the sun, probably not a good idea. Secondly, I, every time I pull it off, I end up pulling off the ND as well. Wish they made a simple cap for this, but it works well. You just gotta pay attention and be careful when you're taking it on and off. Other than that, I think it's great that they included it. So let's put all this back um, in the kit here just so you can get an idea uh, of what this looks like with everything in here. And again, there's a lot. So you've got one, two, three, four, five, six pieces in here. And that's obviously with the cap itself, comes in this really nice little box. It's got a little cleaning rag in there as well. Very nice company. Um, they, they completely communicated throughout the process. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact me, leave me a message, comment, whatever. I can answer what I can. Uh, if you're trying to see if this is gonna fit 
with this map box with the tilt -a map box i have it will not so what you're really losing here is i was using this to put the filters in anyway and i was carrying a whole bunch of different filters uh, but what you are losing is the flag here so you you'll be able to cut some light from the top other than that that's about it so that's what you're losing if you're really into the look with the map box i'm sure you can work something out with the step up ring maybe maybe not i haven't tried but I know it doesn't just go right on it. If there's uh, someone who's done it, let me know. I'll give it a shot. Thanks guys for watching. I really enjoyed making this video. Uh, looking forward to the summer. We've had some fun production so far, so it's been really great. Um, and thank you again for subscribing, watching, and I will see you guys on the next one.